This Lent, I'm going to retrace my own journey of learning in prayer and share this journey with you day by day. Not because I'm an expert prayer, I'm not, but gathering the threads of where I've been will help me as I go forward. And maybe hearing something of my warts and all journey in prayer may help you as you navigate your own. I can clearly remember the first adult prayer I prayed. I wasn't an adult, of course, but it was the first prayer I prayed outside the safe certainty of my childhood faith. I was on a school trip and I was walking round St George's Chapel, Windsor, and I remember being overawed by the building. I was walking round it and looking up and I prayed, If you are there, God, let me know. I had absolutely no idea of what I expected to God to do or how I expected God to answer it, but it was a heartfelt prayer. It obviously wasn't the first prayer I'd prayed. I'd been baptised in my parish church as a baby, I'd been brought up as a Christian, I'd been taught to pray at Sunday school and from infant school onwards. And at home, my mum and dad, or whoever put me to bed, always prayed for me. Two simple words in the nighttime soothing re refrain, uh, night, night, God bless, sleep tight, I love you. And in Sunday school and in the assemblies at school, the hymns and choruses evoke pictures in my mind. Jesus bids us shine with a pure, clear light like a little candle burning in the night. In this world of darkness, we must shine, you in your small corner and I in mine. I loved the thought that Jesus was asking me in my small corner to be a little light for him. When I was six, I was a bridesmaid for my cousin and she asked me what I'd like for a present. I asked for a Bible and at that time there was only the King James Version. And it wasn't the easiest thing for a six year old to read, but I was adamant that that was what I wanted. And I kept it by my bed and I still have it. And it's still in the presentation case and it's still got the sticky marks on the presentation case of the sweets that once leaked out of it, out of the paper bag um, of the sweets that I put on top of it one night. I can remember beginning to read it every night, but it won't surprise you to know that starting at Genesis 1, I only got as far as Genesis 6. Jesus was part of the warp and weft of life during my childhood. Uh, I didn't think much about him, but he was there. I took what my Sunday school teachers said very seriously, and I heard and said and sang what the teachers said in assembly. I took it for granted. It was planted in my heart. So those of you who are working with children or bringing them up or praying for them, don't underestimate the importance of what you are doing. You are sowing and watering the seeds of faith and who knows when and where they will sprout. Teenage years approached and I began to think about things for myself. I gave up Sunday school. I still went to church with the guides at the same chapel and at 13, I found myself throwing out that same challenge to God in St George's Chapel with my first adult prayer, if you are there, God, let me know. It wasn't a defiant challenge or a scientific experiment, more a wondering. I, for myself, was reaching towards the God I'd been taught about, my first prayer, the Jesus whose stories had been the backdrop to my childhood and in his own good time. God answered.